Hi, kids. I have a story about corn. Corn is so good to eat. Corn is a grain that is, was cultivated thousands of years ago in what is now called Mexico and Central America. It was the major crop for the great Mayan civilization. So right there is Mexico. And right there is the Mayan civilization. The native peoples called corn maize. Cultivate means to grow plants or crops. The Aztecs also had a great civilization and used corn in many ways to feed themselves and their animals. The native peoples in what is now Canada and the United States also grew corn. They are busy. In 1620, people sailed from England to the Americas and came ashore at what now, at what is now Plymouth, Massachusetts. They were called pilgrims. The winter was cold and they had very little to eat. That would be hard. See, here's where they came. I'll show you that back. In the spring, local Native American Indians taught the pilgrims how to grow corn. In the fall, the Indian corn was fully grown. The pilgrims called this crop Indian corn. Looks like they got a good crop. The pilgrims held a great feast celebrating their bountiful harvest. The Indians joined them at this first Thanksgiving. The pilgrims learned to use corn in many different ways. Okay, so they have cornbread right there in the pan, corn cobs for fuel, corn pudding, he's eating it, popcorn, corn husk dolls, and husks to make mattresses to stuff them with. Did you know that corn was used for so many things back then? This is what a common corn plant looks like. We have the stalk. Well, first we have the roots down here and the stalk and the leaf, There's lots of leaves and the ear and the tassel. And here's the corn with the husk and the kernels. The kernels are what you eat and silk up here on top. It is generally agreed that there are four different types of corn. Each type has many varieties. So there is sweet corn, popcorn, flint corn, and dent corn. Sweet corn is the most common corn that people eat. People love eating sweet corn because the kernels are soft, sweet, and juicy. So we have Golden Bantam, Silver Choice, Sun and Stars, and Ruby Queen. Sweet corn is harvested just before the kernels turn hard. All other types of corn are harvested after the kernels turn hard. Popcorn is a great snack food. Look at that. So there is Robust Jello. Calico, Dakota Black, and Strawberry. Did you know there were so many kinds of popcorn? A hull covers a kernel. So this is the hull. This is the kernel. Inside each kernel, there's some moisture. So a little drop of moisture. When a kernel is heated, the moisture expands. Pop! The hull bursts open. Now the popcorn is ready to eat. Flint corn. Flint corn is used in many foods we eat. It is used to feed animals too. Flint corn. We have 
Autumn Explosion, Northern Yellow, Fiesta, and Indian Summer Corn. Aren't they pretty? Cereal, Fall Decorations, Cornmeal Grits, and Polenta and Animal Feed. Look at all those things corn is used for. Dent corn. Dent corn is also used for many different kinds of foods. We have North Stein, Hoppy Blue, Hickory King, and Earth Tones. They're really pretty too, aren't they? Corn muffins, flour, cornbread, animal feed, tip, oh, sorry, chips, tacos, tortillas, and tamales. I must want to, I wanted to say those T words when I got to chips. Look at all those things. Planting. Kernels are corn seeds, so they're up here. A plow and row planter are used to turn over the soil and plant kernels. So here's the tractor, the plow, and the row planter. And we have five days, four weeks, and eight weeks. Look at how it grew. A corn stalk begins to grow. Cobs covered by husks appear. Can we see them? Oh yes, right here. See that? And right there. Pollination. Each ear of corn has a great many corn silks. At the end of each corn silk is an egg that is attached to the cob. Pollen moves down each corn silk. When a grain of pollen and an egg join together, the egg is fertilized and the kernel begins to grow. There is one corn silk and one egg for each kernel. Did you know that? That's pretty cool. Tassels contain millions of grain pollen. So here's the tassels, the pollen that's falling. Breezes blow grains of pollen into the air. Pollination occurs when the pollen from a tassel sticks to the corn silk of another corn plant. This happens about two months after the corn is planted. So that's what's happening here. Hundreds of strands of corn silk grow all along the cob and out of the top of the husk. So we have the husk and the cob and the egg and one strand of corn silk and the pollen. So see, it starts right here and goes right down. Harvesting. Sweet corn is harvested before the silks turn brown and the kernels are still tender. That's what makes it so good to eat. Three to four months after the corn has been planted, the corn silks begin to turn brown. This means the kernels are ripe and the corn is ready to be harvested. The average corn plant is about eight feet tall. The average ear is about eight inches long. They're taller than all the people. Large industrial farms. On large farms, a plow is used to turn over the topsoil. That's the plant part of the planting. See them working right there. A large row planter is used to plant the corn kernels. There's the planter. He's planting. Pretty cool. Harvesting. A corn picker machine picks each ear of corn individually. That's this top picture, see it? And it's going up the belt and into the trailer or the wagon. A corn combine machine picks the ears from the stalks, removes the husks, and then removes the kernels from the cob. Wow, that's quite a deal. See it right there? A corn forage harvester cuts up the whole plant into small pieces for silage. The silo is full of silage. Some people grow corn in their gardens and pick it by hand. We do that. Much of the corn is grown and much of the corn grown is used to feed animals, cows, pigs, and poultry, which are chickens.
Oh boy, look at this. What do we have? Let's see if we can name them. We have corn on the cob and canned corn and frozen corn, jams and jellies, salad dressings, natural sweeteners and fruit drinks and soft drinks, milled corn, milled corn for cereal and corn muffins and cornbread and corn chips and tortillas. See all those things? Corn oil for cooking, ethanol for fuel, baby powder, cornstarch, medicine, soap, paints and dyes, glue, cloth, paper products, biodegradable plastics and packaging materials. Look at all those things. It's amazing how many ways corn can be used. And I said tortillas and they're really tortillas. You don't have to say the L's. Corn can also be nutritious and delicious. Yes, it can. Corn, corn, corn. We've got some good facts here. In the United States, that's here, the highest corn producing states known as the Corn Belt are Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, Ohio, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. That's a lot of states. In Canada, the provinces of Ontario and Quebec produce the most corn. That's here in Canada. An acre of land may yield about four tons of corn a year. That sounds like a lot. Corn. The United States produces about 84 million tons of corn a year, and they can't keep it all in baskets. Canada produces about 13 million tons. Corn varieties range from three feet to 20 feet tall. Look at the difference. The tassel at the top of each corn stalk contains up to 25 million grains of pollen. The average cob has about 800 kernels. Can you imagine when you eat corn, you're eating 800 kernels? I wonder if that's field corn versus sweet corn. When corn is distilled, it produces alcohol that can be mixed with gasoline to make a fuel called ethanol. And the last one, corn is grown on every continent except Antarctica. So there's some really good facts. May have even created a few questions for you that you might need to ask someone. But next time you eat at your corn, off the cob, you can remember all these things and you can remember what it took to get it to your table. Have a great day. Bye.